Let's make some mouse changes in Windows 11. I'm going to click on the Start button and go to Settings. And once I'm in Settings, I'll go over to the left-hand side where it says Bluetooth and Devices, and then I'll click on Mouse. Now we have the primary mouse button. You can change it from left to right. Now it will change it immediately. So if you want to change it back or start using your mouse after the change, you'll have to start using your right click button as what used to be your left click button. Here we have the mouse pointer speed. We can make that faster or slower. Now we have the roll the mouse wheel to scroll. So the multiple lines at a time or one screen at a time. So if you're going to leave it at one, multiple lines at a time, then you're going to see that by default, it's going to be set to one. But if you scroll all the way to the right, it's going to go to 100. So let's see what it is with one. So I'll go to one and then open up edge. So I go to one and look at that just as a little bit at a time. Now, if I go back and go all the way to the right, go back to edge, we can see it does like a whole page at a time. Almost. There we go. It goes from top to bottom, just with one mouse wheel turn. Just one little click. So like I said, the default is one, but you can set it anywhere you want. Now, if I change it to one screen at a time, we can see the lines scroll at a time are, are going to be grayed out at that point. Next, we have scroll in active windows when hovering over them. And what this means is that if you're selecting things in one screen, but you want to scroll in another, then you don't have to actually click into that screen to get it to scroll down. So let's take a look. So right now I have it on. So I'm going to click into this left screen, but I'm going to go over to the right screen, even though it's inactive, and I can still scroll up and down, even though I haven't clicked into it. So if I turn that off, then I should no longer be able to do that. So there, we'll turn that off. Now I'll go into the left screen. I've still clicked in the left. And in the right screen, I can no longer, when I scroll, I can no longer scroll up and down. Let's go ahead and turn that back on because that is a nice feature to have. Next, if you click on additional mouse settings, this looks more like the Windows 10 and Windows 8 and 7 type of uh, way of looking things. You can do things such as turn on click lock, double speed buttons, change the pointers uh, to be a different thing. I'll change this to black and then you have pointer options here as well for speed and other things so that is how you make changes to your mouse in windows 11.